Hey everyone, uh, welcome. We're gonna do step two. It says Coleco and Rivet the parts together as shown. Rivets be installed direction of the arrows. Uh, looks like we got the horizontal spar channel. Um, this is all the front spar. The horizontal stab uh, plate and the center angle. We're gonna go ahead and click all those together and then rivet. So these four holes are dimpled, which means I need to countersink these four holes before I rivet that together. So good thing I saw that right here. It says countersink these eight holes. Um, so I gotta go ahead and do that real quick. All right, got my new drill. I bought the rivet gun but the battery was a hundred dollars for an extra battery and a charger or I could get two drills two batteries and a charger for 120 so I went ahead and did that I got a new drill I'm gonna go ahead and drill out these four holes and then countersink them okay uh, sling build UK uh, has had a, asked a question regarding the use of countersink drill bits. He says, I think it's only required on the fiberglass components of the empennage kit. Is that correct? Or are there metal parts within the empennage kit that needs countersinking rather than dimpling? Well, as you can see, I've used the countersink tool here on step two of the horizontal stabilizer. Uh, you need to countersink the last four holes of the top and the bottom of the horizontal stabilizer center angle. I can go ahead and provide the link for the 120 degree countersink tool I ordered. I ordered it from Aircraft Spruce. Uh, go ahead and follow uh, Sling Build UK's channel. Uh, he started building a sling around the same time I have. And uh, he's just right around the same area as I am. So go ahead and give him a follow. Thanks uh, for the good question. We've spent about uh, two hours here on step two. Total time into the empennage so far, 10 hours, five minutes. Go ahead and like this video. If you have any comments, leave a comment below. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell for notifications, that way you can stay up to date. Once again, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.